Yo, what is going on, family? It is your boy, Refo or Nick back here again today. Hope you guys are doing absolutely well. Guys, we're just going to jump straight into it. Guys, what I want to talk about today is it is so, so, so important. You talk to literally everybody. We all know that saying your network is your net worth, but not even just in the physical money type of aspect, like literally everything. I truly believe that there's so much to learn and so much to know. I truly believe that you can learn from people that are better than you. And you can also learn from people that are in a lower position than you. Guys, what really led me to make this video, and I I'm going to tell a story real quick but it really clicked to me like wow if i never had this conversation my life would be completely different long story short you guys know i'm into real estate i like buying properties i wholesale on the side but i wasn't always like this guys for the longest time since a kid i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life i had no purpose i just felt like i was waking up every day and doing the same thing and this is how i know god is real because there is just no such thing as coincidences this is literally god and i'm gonna explain the story right now let me stop procrastinating but guys long story short i was working at my shit job i believe i was working at home depot if you work at home depot you know exactly what that is like it is absolutely terrible i was so miserable on the way back home from home depot i would think about how i have to go back the next day it was so bad that had to be like one of the lowest points of my life but long story short, my family was having a family get together, barbecue, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know why, but this was back then when I didn't have much days in Home Depot. I would only work like three days. So when I called, I was like, damn, I'm not making no money this week. And I wasn't going to call out, but something in my heart just told me to call out. I didn't know what it was. And there's two people that you should know in this story. And there's two uncles that I have. Let's call the first one Uncle Nigel and the second one Uncle Steve. Now, I'm a brown boy. I'm Guyanese. I'm Indian. So basically, long story short, you call people uncle, even though they're not your uncle. But long story short, Uncle Nigel was actually my blood uncle and uncle steve was my family friend but i still call him uncle out of respect uncle steve he comes around once in a while but he's the wealthy man everybody looks up to him in the family he's the one that actually made it out the hood it's rare you see guy these people like me especially in the area that i live in actually make it out and actually make it successful and do something good for themselves and so long story short there was a couple days before that i'd asked uncle nigel i was like hey what does uncle steve do this was back then when i was like 18 19 years old i didn't know anything like i literally thought people that made $40 an hour was a lot of money. Like I literally thought that was the max. I didn't know there were people making a hundred grand a month. I didn't know there was people even making a hundred dollars an hour working a W2. Like this is how capped my mind was. Like what you don't know will really hurt you. But long story short, I asked my uncle Nigel, I was like, Hey, what does uncle Steve do? Like, I need to know what he does. I don't want to work my job for the rest of my life. I hate this shit. Like, what does he do? I need to know what he does. And my uncle Nigel was literally like, okay, let's go talk to him. And like, this was back then, guys, when I was absolutely just a pussy. Like, I was so scared to talk to anybody. I just had anxiety. I was just very quiet to myself. I wouldn't even say like I wasn't outgoing. Like, I would have a conversation with you. But if I didn't have nothing to talk about, I just wouldn't talk. Like, I don't like forcing conversations. But long story short, to getting back to the Home Depot side, for some reason, something in my heart was telling me to call out this day, and I wasn't going to call out. And I called out last minute, and they were tight. I called out like 30 minutes before the shift actually started. And I went to this barbecue, and at this barbecue, and this is why I'll always respect both of them, my Uncle Nigel and Uncle Steve. But at this barbecue, my Uncle Nigel literally forced me out of my comfort zone. He was like, Yo, Nick, come here. Didn't you want to say you want to talk to Uncle Steve? I'm literally shitting myself. I'm sweating. I'm like, Oh shit, what do I say? Back then, I thought they would look down on me because I didn't know any anything about anything i was just a lost kid just trying to like learn from people doing it better than me and i say this to say but basically that conversation that one conversation with uncle steve he would he told me how he was in real estate he told me how to get wealthy he was saying stuff that i didn't even understand like stuff stuff like piti basic real estate terms that if you guys want videos about i could definitely make but the most simplest stuff like equity interest i was literally like what does principle mean i didn't know anything i'm telling you guys it was insane but all it took was that one day for me to call out that one conversation with uncle steve and uncle nigel literally that one conversation sent me down the deepest and i mean the deepest rabbit hole i literally went home that night i literally started searching up how to get rich how to get started in real estate what should i do next what is real estate? i literally learned everything there is to know about real estate i literally i overlearned if i should say if one thing i could go back i i wish i'd take more action i i literally learned so much to the point where i came back next meeting the next time i saw uncle steve and uncle nigel and i was teaching them how to do shit but guys i don't want to take up too much time with the story but i say this to say if i never called out if I never had that conversation with Uncle Steve, my life would be completely, completely different. I still probably wouldn't have purpose. I still wouldn't know what I want to do. And I would still have nothing to look forward to in the morning. And guys, mind you, this was back then when Uncle Steve barely came around that much. Like you would see him once every other year. And the fact that I called out that same exact day, he was there. It's like, bro, the stars just aligned. Like I don't believe in coincidences. It's literally God. It's literally God working in your favor. God's timing is right. And guys, I realized like I, I trust me. I'm so grateful. I realized since that moment, it's like, wow, if I never went out my comfort zone and had that one conversation, 
my life would be completely different. Now, imagine if I had that one conversation with as much people as I can. Imagine if I pushed out of my comfort zone and literally conversating with literally everybody. I literally look at my peers and people around me like, bro, we're all going to do great. I hope success for all of you. Once you're great, I'm going to need you in the future. Somehow, some way, somewhere, somehow we're going to cross paths again. I'm going to need you. You're going to need me. We're going to do good for each other. I don't know. Maybe I can learn something off of you. We're going to get this shit done. I'm going to talk to you. I don't know what I'm going to talk to you about, but you're going to remember me. And when you remember me, you're going to remember the good Nick, how I made you feel. I made you feel great. And that's literally my goal in every conversation. I literally try to go in every conversation trying to make the other person feel great because people don't remember what you say to them. They remember how you made them feel. Now it's literally so crazy how that one conversation literally changed my life, helped me grow. Like it literally pushed me on my comfort zone. It just stars just aligned and aligned and aligned. It's literally God. Now it's to the point where I'm literally chopping it up with homeless people. I'm literally asking them if they're cool. I'm like, bro, how did you get here? So I never get to this point. And I know that sounds so bad, but this is literally the conversations I have with people. Once you give them a good vibe, once you show that, hey, everything I say is out of love. Like once you have that good vibe with somebody and you have the connection, you could literally say whatever. You, I truly believe you can learn from literally everybody living. Like I say, one of my biggest tips is literally, guys, put down your ego. I literally, if I see anybody that even looks like a hint of rich, because that's what I want to be like in the future. I literally drop the ego and I go up and ask them, hey, bro. That's a sick watch. Hey, bro, sick car. Hey, bro, what did you do to become rich? I'm trying to get just like you. You have to understand that people love giving advice. Like, think about you. You're probably helping your friends out and you don't even take your own advice. You got to realize that when people give advice, even when you give advice to your friends sometimes, you got to realize that that advice is great advice if you actually followed your own advice. The reason you're not following your own advice is because it's harder to do than actually say because there's fear. So when successful people give you advice, you're literally taking years of their knowledge and you're condensing it in such a small format for yourself. So you're learning curve is just going to skyrocket. You're going to get richer so much faster. But guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I just, you know, if there's one thing you took out of this video is start talking to more people and start leaving great impressions, especially first impressions. Start leaving a mark on people. That's one of my biggest goals is I want to talk to literally everybody and leave with a smile on their face. One, you have to understand that we're all connected, not even on some spiritual stuff, but we literally are like in another universe. You're that homeless guy in another universe. You're that billionaire. You have to understand that we're all literally connected. I know that if you guys are shy or anything like me in the past i know how hard it is the first couple of walk-ups and just starting introducing yourself like hey bro i don't mean to bother you excuse me i'm sorry hey can i just have a conversation with you real quick i promise it gets it's hard the first couple is very hard but it gets easier easier and easier the more you do it and one tip before i end this video is don't slack like if you go on a run start talking to people and your confidence is going up don't take a long period where you're not going up to anybody and having conversations because if you take a long break it's going to be harder to jump back in the game but guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys like share and subscribe again thank you guys so much for the support i my past video got like 400 views i'm so beyond grateful i don't think you guys understand like i i just want to provide as much value as i can to you guys again i make these videos for my younger or older self if i had a little brother i would literally send him all these videos but guys if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys like share and subscribe it's been your boy ref or nick and i'll catch you guys next time love y'all bye